hazmat class for you today, and we are going to need a dish towel as a prop. We're not using it as a slider. Uh, we're going to roll it up and use it as sort of a prop in between our legs for the first part. And then at the end of class, we will use it as a prop when we're in a prone position and we'll hold it lengthwise. Now for the first part where we use it as a prop between our legs, if you have a small Pilates ball and you would rather use that, you absolutely can, or a small pillow. Um, but otherwise, let's just get the towel ready for that part. You're going to fold it lengthwise like this. And then I'm going to fold it in half again like this. And then once it's in this shape, I'm just going to roll it into a little cylinder. Now you can either have it, and we're not going to use it right away, but just so that you know, when we do put it between our legs, you can put it upper, upper thighs, or you can put it between your knees today, okay? Um, because it's not super big, it's not as big as when we use a small ball, putting it in the middle of your thighs may or may not work for you, okay? So it's up to you. Everyone's body's different. Either go between the knees or upper, upper thighs today, and you can play around with the position. We're not, it's not going to separate the legs very far because it is fairly small. We just want it as a prop for squeezing in and activating our adductors. We won't use it right away, though. You can kind of put it off to a, the side. We're going to start with a warm up down on the mat. So I want you to start actually near me. Let's lay down on our side to start. So mirroring me, you're going to lay down on your left side. Your left arm can be stretched out, or if you'd rather cradle your head in your hand, that is an option too. And then we're going to stack the right on top of left, and we're going to sweep this right arm overhead as we twist open. Now keep your hips stacked, keep your knees pointing this way. The twist is just happening through the upper body and the mid spine, mobilizing through the shoulder, and then you just reverse it back here. My clip is in the way. Keep going this same side, twisting open. Oh, that feels so nice and bring it back. Twist it open. We're trying to keep the hand lightly touching the floor, but if you're feeling a little stiff through the shoulders, it may come off. Now this time you twist open, we're gonna pause. You're gonna press both the backs of both hands down into the floor for support. You're gonna keep your feet on the floor and then exhale, you're gonna connect to your obliques and we're just gonna pick our knees up through center and then we're gonna drop them over to the other side, same thing. But now the left arm is gonna circle up, coming to lay on our right side. And then we just twist it back open. Oh. <clears throat> we're gonna do one more. Next time you're twisted open with your chest up to the ceiling, I want you to pause. Both hands press down into the floor. We keep our feet on the ground. We exhale, connect to our obliques and just bring those feet through center. Now from here, I want you to flip the palms down to the floor and bring the arms down by your side. And we're just gonna roll through the pelvis um, using our breath and our abdominals. So as you exhale, I want you to connect to the abdominal wall and I want you to start to roll your hip bones towards your bottom ribs, gently tucking the tailbone under, but without squeezing your bum, okay? So the movement comes from the core, not the glutes. And then as you inhale, I want you to roll through center and maybe even find a little bit of an anterior tilt, making that bigger arch to the lower back. As we exhale, we roll the pelvis towards us. Inhale, release it. Maybe just to neutral, maybe a little bit of an anterior tilt. Exhale, roll it. So we're kind of lengthening our lower back to the mat. One final time. And then from here, I just want you to settle in between those two extremes, the posterior and anterior, so that we are neutral. Keeping the arms down by your side, we're going to one at a time, bring the knees up to tabletop. Now we're gonna find some rotation within the hip joints. So first I want knees together, and I want you to pull the feet apart so we're internally rotated within the hip joint. It may not be a big movement at all. And now we're just gonna switch it. I want you to bring feet together and I want you to open up through the knees, external rotation. And just alternate between the two, maintaining neutral through the spine. So think of the thigh bones rotating within the hip sockets here. Ooh, internal rotation is sticky for me. One more each direction. So we pull the feet apart. Then we pull the knees apart. And then we're going to bring it through center, and now we are going to find that towel. Mine, of course, came out of its roll, so I'm going to just quickly roll it up. 
So again, you can put it between your knees, or you can put it between your upper, upper thighs, whatever works for you. I'm gonna go between my knees here. Gentle squeeze so that we're active through the adductors. Now I want you to bring your hands at the base of your skull. We're gonna start with just an ab curl. So as you exhale, gentle nod of the chin, you're folding up the sternum, you're coming up into that ab curl position, gazes at your knees, inhale, return back down. So we're moving with our breath, we exhale, ab curl up, inhale down. Try to keep your knees over your hips rather than over your belly button. So we're not rolling into a ball, we're maintaining neutral through that lower spine. So our core work today is going to turn into some adductor and hip bridge work. So we'll see a few combos throughout this. Now, next time you come up into your ab curl, I want you to hold the ab curl. Elbows are wide, but not so wide that you flare open through the ribs. And now we're gonna move the legs. On an inhale, you're gonna drop your feet towards the floor, but they may not even get close to it. As you exhale, you're gonna bring the knees back up to tabletop. Now you're only dropping your feet as far as you can without arching into your lower back and flaring open through the rib cage. Okay, so if this happens, if you come out of neutral, you've come too far. So it may be tiny. You may be dropping out an inch or two. Exhale, bring them back up to tabletop. Your feet do absolutely not have to tap the floor, but if you are advanced, maybe those toes are tapping the ground and you're exhaling to bring them back up. Get only if you can maintain neutral. So we're gonna put the two together up next. We're gonna ab curl as we do this movement with our legs. So the head will lower as the toes lower, and then we'll exhale, we'll come back up to our tabletop. Let's put it together. So as you inhale, lower head, neck and shoulders to the mat, feet drop as you exhale. Connect your core, ab curl up, bring your knees in. Does not have to be a huge movement at all. Three more and then we hold the top. Last time. Hold at the top, and now I want you to reach your arms forward, and I want you to extend your legs out straight at a hover. Now, as we inhale, we're gonna bend the knees, we're gonna lower our arms to the mat, we're gonna lower our head to the mat. As you exhale, you're gonna come back up into that low ab curl position with the legs at a hover. We're squeezing in on that towel, so we stay connected to our adductors, the inner thighs. Now your legs are only going as low as you can maintain neutral. So the higher up you stretch those legs, the more supported the position is for your lower back. The lower to the floor you extend the legs, the more challenging, but lower is not necessarily better. We have a hold coming up, and then we're gonna start mixing in a narrow hip bridge lift. So next time you come into this ab curl, I want you to pause, gazes at your knees, squeeze in on that towel. So coming up, instead of bending the knees to tabletop, we're gonna bend the knees and plant the feet on the floor as we return arms and head to the mat. In three, two, one. So you're gonna bend the knees, but this time you plant the feet on the mat, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. And as we exhale, we're gonna squeeze into our glutes, press the feet down into the floor, narrow hip bridge lift. You're gonna lower your hips down to the mat, and as you exhale, we come into that ab curl position, straightening the legs. Keep going in this combo. Plant the feet down, lift up into the hip bridge, lower the hips down, exhale, come to that ab curl. So this is transitioning us out of the core work and into our hip bridge work. Now, because our feet are together and we're in a narrow hip bridge, you may not be able to get the hips up very high and that is normal and expected, okay? We're gonna do one more in the combo. And then we're just gonna do that hip bridge lift. So we come to that low ab curl, feet plant, arms down, and now let's just focus on the lift and the lower of our hips. We're squeezing gently in on that towel. Firing through the glutes as the hips lift up. 
Staying neutral through the lower back. So again, don't force the hips up super high. They probably won't get as high as when we do a hip bridge with our feet apart at hips distance. <sighs> Next time you lift those hips up, I want you to hold them up. And I just want you to squeeze in on that towel. So it's a little squeeze. Now, don't just think of pushing the knees together. Picture you could bring the upper inner thighs together. So you want to feel the contraction up here. It's a small little squeeze. You probably can't even see it on me. A little squeeze in. Make sure you're not flaring open through the ribs. We're going to hold the squeeze coming up and we're going to lift the heels up to a small hover. So next time you squeeze in, hold the squeeze. Now lift your heels up just like an inch because I don't want you to roll out on the ankles, okay? From here, little pulse of the hips down an inch and up an inch. Down and up. Heels are at that very small hover. Hips down and up. We have just one variation to get through. And then we will reset and start from the top. Next time those hips lift up, hold at the top and squeeze in on that towel again. In, in. Your heels are still at that small little hover. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the hips down, remove the towel, and hug the knees in wide, and you can kind of rock side to side a little bit. Woo! All right, so we're gonna go through that whole sequence again, but if you've taken my mat classes before, you know the second time we go through, it's a little quicker. We don't stay on each variation quite as long. All right, so we're gonna start with the ab curl. I want you to bring that towel, roll it up into a ball. Again, do what works best for your body. It may be having the towel up here, or it may be between the knees. I'm gonna have mine between the knees just below it. So let's make sure we are neutral through the spine, arms down by our side, and on an exhale, you're gonna to connect to your core. You're gonna lift those knees up to tabletop. Now from here, let's take our hands to the base of our skull, and we're gonna start with that ab curl on an exhale, gentle knot of the chin, fold at the sternum, curling up. Make sure you're not just bringing your head off of the mat, we're getting our upper shoulder blades off. We'll hold the ab curl up next. Legs will move. Toes will drop towards the floor. They do not have to touch the floor though. Next time you do an ab curl, hold that ab curl. And now the legs. Inhale, we drop. Exhale, we pull back up to tabletop. So you're pressing those knees out and away from you. Exhale, bring them back in. Go slow. I want this movement to go with your breath. <sighs> We're gonna put the two together up next. Give me one more like this. Now put it together. Head lowers to the mat as your knees go out. Exhale, curl up, draw knees to tabletop. Toes drop towards the mat as head lowers to the mat. We exhale, we curl it up. Keep it going. Two more and then we hold the top. Next time up, you're gonna hold. Stay in the ab curl, but reach your arms forward, and now extend those legs out, squeezing in on the towel. As you lower the arms and head to the mat, you bend the knees into tabletop. You exhale, extend out, coming into that hollow hold or that low ab curl position. Inhale to lower, knees to tabletop. Exhale to bring it up. We're gonna switch up the combo up next, adding in that narrow hip bridge, moving between the low hollow hold and the hip bridge. We have a hold first though. So next time you ab curl up, I want you to hold there. The lower the legs, the more challenging. Maintain neutral. You got it. Arms lower down, knees bend, feet to the floor. Three, two, one. We bend the knees, lowering the feet to the floor, arms down for support. Exhale, fire through the glutes, squeeze into the towel, lift your hips up, narrow hip bridge. As we exhale, we come into the ab curl. Arms reach forward at a hover, legs extend to a hover. Lower everything down, plant the feet. So it's hip bridge lift and lower into that ab curl. Transitioning into our second and final round of hip bridge work. 
Last time. Stick with just the hip bridge. Lifting the hips up and lowering them down, not worrying if the hips don't get up super high. They typically don't get up as high when we have this narrow stance, but we get more engagement through the adductors, the inner thighs, which is our focus. Next time you lift those hips up, we're gonna hold the hips lifted. You're gonna squeeze in on that towel. So it's a little squeeze in, in. To really get the adductors firing, don't just think of squeezing the knees. And again, think of squeezing the whole thigh bones in towards each other. Heels are gonna lift to that very small hover in three, two, one. Keep the hips lifted, heels lift. It's very small, it's like half an inch or an inch. Now hips pulse down and up, down and up. We're almost done with this work. We'll switch it up into some single leg work up next. So the bad news is inner thighs are not quite off the hook, but the good news is it's a quick section. Next time your hips lift up, hold them up and now squeeze in, in. You got it. Eight, seven, heels are lifted. Six, five, four, three, two, one, lower your hips down. Let's remove the towel. You can put it off to the side. Give those knees a quick hug, rock side to side, knees are wide. And now we're going to come, it's still inner thigh work, but we're gonna get side body. So mirror me, I want you to reach your left leg and left arm long, and let's roll onto the left side of our body. So first we wanna use the front edge of our mat to make sure that we are in one long line, shoulders, hips, heels. Now we're going to focus on the bottom left inner thigh here. You can take your top fingertips and tent them on the floor. We're in front of you and we're gonna stay really engaged with the side body. So we got inner thighs here, we also have obliques. So first I want you to reach long through this top right leg, bring it up to a hover, it's just gonna stay there. And on an exhale, you're gonna just squeeze the left leg up to meet the right. Now we have these top fingertips tented, but we're not rolling the shoulder forward. So I want you to stay open through the chest, shoulders are stacked. So we have just a quick side series for inner thighs here. We'll do this side, we'll do the other, and then we're gonna really switch the focus into obliques and the inner thighs will get to chill. <laughs> now coming up, we're gonna do both legs together. So we'll keep the legs together, both will lift and lower at the same time. That's in four, three, two. Next time those legs squeeze up, hold them together, and now they lower together. Exhale, lift together. Now what's important here is that we are not shortening through the top side of our waist as the legs lift up, okay? So I want you to think, keep those hips level. So it does not have to be a huge lift up. If it's too big, you're gonna rock the pelvis, you're gonna collapse into your bottom side, and you're gonna crunch into the top side, which we don't want. Now coming up, you can stay exactly as you are with the top fingertips tented on the floor. Or if you are up for a challenge, we're gonna really work our core stabilizers and we're gonna put this top hand on our hip and we're gonna add in lateral flexion, lifting to the upper body as well. So give me one more like this. And then I want you to pause with the legs down. Now take this top hand on your hip, plant down through the bottom arm. On an exhale, you're gonna to start to reach long through this top arm, legs lift up, armpit lifts off the mat. So we are laterally flexed and then everything lowers down. So picture you're bringing your body into a very shallow U shape, woo, and lowering. You should feel those top right side obliques working as they contract to lift you up. This may feel a little wobbly. It is for me, that is okay. You're gonna give me two more. Final one coming up and we're gonna hold at the top. Exhale. Ooh, hold. So coming up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll to the side of our butt. You're gonna bend this top right leg, plant the uh, right foot down behind the left and four, lower down in three. In two, one, lower down, plant the top foot. And now I want you to roll so that we're off the side of the hip bone, more to the side of our butt. And I want you to prop your head up in your hand, flex to the bottom ankle, we lift and lower. So still hitting that inner thigh lifting and lowering. I want the inside ankle bone pointing up towards the ceiling. Squeeze it up. A 
we'll hold at the top in four, three, two, hold at the top. And from here, I just want you to point and flex through the ankle. Point and flex. We're going to hold pointed and trace little circles. Keep it at a hover in three, two, one. Hold it pointed and trace little circles. Now they're only as big as you can without rocking through the pelvis. So they're probably very small. Think a quarter sized circle for four, for three, for two. Now just switch directions, same little circles. You have some pulses to finish up and then we switch to the other side. You got this. Circle for four, three, hold in two, one. I want you to flex to the ankle, pulse it up to finish. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I want you to roll to your back. I want you to butterfly those knees and just let them hang open for a second. You can rock side to side a little bit. Now I'm gonna flip flop directions. All you have to do is roll to your right side, but I wanna face you since I need to be a visual, I'm the teacher, so I'm just gonna quickly flip around. So we're gonna repeat that exact same thing, other side, all right? So we're gonna reach long, and you wanna make sure, use the front edge of the mat that you're lined up, shoulders, hips, heels in one long line, top fingertips tented. Now reach long through your top left leg, hold it at a hover, and the bottom right is gonna squeeze up to meet it. Exhale, lift. So that right inner thigh is gonna be the focus. And when we add in the lateral flexion, we'll get top left obliques. So we wanna stay stacked here, one hip stacked on top of the other, engage to the bottom side obliques, and we're not rolling forward to the top shoulder. Both legs are gonna lift and lower together. In four, three, two, next time that bottom right leg lifts up, hold the legs together. They lower, exhale, they lift. Not rocking through the pelvis. So our core, especially our obliques are working to stabilize. So this doesn't have to be a huge movement. So coming up next, we'll add in that lateral flexion with our left hand on our hip. If that is too much though, you stay doing what we're doing now. Give me three more, two more. Last time, lower down and now take your top arm, rest it on the hip. Everything's gonna lift up on an exhale. Reach long through the top of your head and your legs, armpit lifts off the mat. So we're in this very shallow, wide U shape and we lower down. Move with your breath, exhale to come up, inhale as you slowly lower. Two more, we hold the second. We hold at the top of this one. So we have that transition coming up. We'll plant the left foot behind. We'll roll to the side of our butt cheek more so than the hip bone in three, two, one, lower down, but prop your head up in your hand, roll to the side of your butt, plant that bottom, or that, sorry, plant that top foot behind you. Bottom foot is flexed. We lift and lower back to inner thighs. I took a couple days off from filming because uh, I ran the marathon. And so now I'm back filming and I feel like I'm a little rusty as far as like spitting out the words I wanna say. <sighs> Woo, my adductors are talking to me. We're gonna hold at the top in four, point and flex in three, two, hold, and then just point, flex to the ankle, point, flex. We'll hold pointed for little circles in three, two, hold pointed little circles. So it is the leg circling within the hip joint. We're not rocking the hip bones, the pelvis. Four, switch in three, two, one, switch direction your circles. 
we'll just pulse up and down, foot will be flexed again, or ankle flex, I should say, in four. Circle for three, two, one. Flex at the ankle, little pulses to finish. Don't lose height. Go up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Woo. We can come onto our back. Let's butterfly the knees, a little rock side to side. We're going to come into some plank work up next. So I want you to bring your hands behind your thighs and let's just start to rock and roll up and down the spine. Eventually coming up through seated, cross at the ankles, hands on the mat, and we're going to come into a plank. So we're going to do a little bit of plank work, but we're going to transition the plank work into some kneeling mermaid work. So it's not an overwhelming amount of time spent in a plank, I promise, okay? So let's start with hands under shoulders just to get into position and then step your feet back. Once you're in your plank position though, I want you to take your feet about as wide as your mat. And then I want you to walk your hands into center so your thumbs are touching, okay? Now from here, we're going to start on an exhale. You're gonna brace through your core and you're gonna take your right arm and you're gonna reach it out to the side like half of a T, but without moving the hips. Now from here, we are gonna drop the hips over to the left as we rotate open into a side plank. On an exhale, we're gonna square ourselves off, still single-handed, and then you can return that right hand to the mat, okay? So we're gonna do that three more times. Exhale, right arm reaches out to a T. Inhale, we twist open into our side plank. Exhale, we square off through the body. Inhale, bring the right hand down. Go slowly through this, do not rush. Last time, we'll hold the side plank this time. Hold it here. All right, so we're already gonna transition out of our plank work, okay, into a mermaid. So from here, I want you to take your left knee and I want you to bring it forward and plant it down on the floor. We're gonna come up and we're just gonna side bend over. And then we'll take it back into our side plank. So we're going to bring our left hand to the mat. You're gonna exhale, you're gonna step your left foot back to that staggered position and just pause in your side plank. We're pushing the mat away so we're stable through the shoulders. Open through the chest, hips are stacked. So you might need to take this top hip and pull it forward. Let's do our combo again. Left knee comes down. You're mirroring me. We sweep it up and over. Left hand returns to the mat. Left foot steps back, final side plank hold. So we're gonna come into mermaid up next. Right side obliques will be the focus in three, two. Let's do that combo. Left knee comes down. One more side bend. And then this time I want you to come up tall and I just want you to pause. Make sure your hips are both pointing forward so you might need to adjust the position of this right leg. Now from here, I want you to take your, the back of your right hand to your forehead and we're gonna do our mermaid, bringing the left fingertips to tap the mat. So we inhale, we side bend over, fingertips tap the mat. We exhale, we connect to the right side obliques, bring ourselves back upright. Keep going like that. Now, if tapping your fingers to the mat is a little too far. You do not need to side bend over that far, okay? Maybe you just go over a couple inches, up a couple inches. What I want you to focus on is exhaling and really feeling the contraction of this right side body, you sort of drag yourself back up to the top. You're going to give me one more full rep and then we're going to hold low. Now I want you to hold with your fingertips, lightly touching the floor, or you can put a little weight into them. Now as you exhale, we're just going to sweep this bottom left arm up and overhead. Woo, that's tough, right? And then bring it down to the mat. Exhale lift and reach, return. Now, if it's too much reaching overhead, then instead I just want you to pull it away, but keep it close to your center of gravity and then return fingertips to the mat. Just two more, we'll finish with a hold. Next time that arm goes overhead, we hold. Maybe you stay here, or if you wanna advance it, your top arm reaches overhead as well. Hold for four, we're back in a plank. In three, two, listen to the transition. First, I want you to bring your bottom left hand to the mat. Then I want you to bring your right hand to the mat, thumbs together. Then we're going to step that bottom leg back and we square off the hips. 
We are in our plank position. Let's make sure our feet are about as wide as the mat. We're gonna do that same thing over to the other side. I'm just gonna quickly flip directions though so that I'm facing you, but you do not have to. So on an exhale, you're gonna brace through the core without moving your hips. You're just gonna take that left arm, reach it out to the left. Then with control, we pivot open into that side plank. Exhale, square the body off. Inhale, return left hand to the mat. Keep going with your breath, it's slow. Just twice more. Open into your side plank. Square it off into your single arm plank. Return left hand down. This time we'll hold the side plank. Arm reaches. Pivot open and just hold the side plank. Stable through that bottom shoulder. Square the hips, open through the chest. So we are going to do that kind of combo coming into the side bend with the knee down. Right knee will pull forward and come onto the mat in three, two, one. Pull your right knee forward, place it on the mat. Come up and let's do that little counter side bend. Right hand returns to the mat. Step that right foot back, staggered behind the left. Hold your side plank. Really think of pushing the mat away, pressing the hips up to the ceiling. Let's do our little counter. You pull the knee forward. Come up and side bend. One final side plank hold, right hand to the mat. Exhale, right foot steps back and hold. So we'll come into our mermaid work. In three, two, it's the same transition. Pull the right knee forward. Come up, one final counter side bend and then come upright and let's make sure we're in the right position. Both hip bones pointing forward, so adjust this leg as needed. You're gonna take the back of your left hand to your forehead, right fingertips reach towards the floor. Let's do that mermaid. Inhale, we side bend over. Exhale, contract through your left side obliques to bring yourself up, you're mirroring me. Maybe the fingertips touch the floor, maybe that is a little too big of a range of motion. We'll hold the side bend and do the arm sweep up next. And when we hold the side bend, you can put a little bit of weight into your fingertips when you're down here, okay? Give me one more full range rep and then we'll hold. You're gonna side bend over, right fingertips to the mat. We're gonna stay in this position with the torso. We're gonna exhale and remove the bottom hand. Reaching it up, woo, that is chuff. And back, I chuff. I tried to say challenging and tough and I turned it into one word. Remember, it's a little easier if you just pull away, keeping the arm close to your center of gravity. You're gonna give me two more, we'll hold the second. Final hold, you got this. Maybe you stay here, maybe left arm reaches overhead as well. On my count, right hand plants, then left. We come into a plank in four, three, two. Plant the bottom hand, twist, plant the top hand. Step your feet back, you're in a plank position. So we have one final section of class to go. It is some prone work. You're going to need your towel. In one long line, we're gonna lower ourselves all the way down to the mat. So kind of like a push up, but come to that prone position. Okay, quick round of prone work to finish up this class. So you're gonna take your towel and you're gonna hold the ends of it. We're gonna bring it behind our back though, okay? Your palms are gonna face up towards the ceiling. Now your legs can either be together or they can be hips distance apart. Um, it is easier for me to maintain a neutral pelvis if I have my legs apart, so that is the option I am going to go with. Now to start, I want you to keep your nose lightly tapping the mat, laying through the back of the neck. Again, palms face up towards the ceiling. I want you to think of sliding your shoulder blades kind of down towards your bum a little bit so that we're open through the chest. And from here, we're just gonna lift and lower those arms to start. Lift and lowering. Now you're keeping tension on the towel, so you're pulling out on it gently as you lift and lower. 
as you lift the arms, try not to roll the tops of your shoulders forward. And we're maintaining neutral so you are bracing through your core. We're not letting us, uh, you're not letting yourself kind of push down into the mat and overarch into that lower back. So we're gonna get a little bit of tricep work in here too. We're gonna take this into a little bend stretch, holding that towel lifted in three, two, hold the towel lifted and from here, it's just a little bend stretch, bend stretch. You're bending and then punching those arms straight, push them away, push away. We're gonna hold the arms straight. We're gonna come into a spinal extension. So we'll lift our upper body up to a hover and then lower it down. Keep your legs where they are in four, three, hold straight in two, one, hold straight and lifted. And now we're gonna come up into our spinal extension and then we lower back down, nose taps the mat, keep the arms lifted. Open through the chest. You reach long through the crown of the head, coming into that spinal extension and lower down. <sighs> Lift is coming from your mid back. So think right below the shoulder blades, not so much lower back. Now we are going to hold the spinal extension. So we'll hold in the hover and we'll just repeat those arm moves. So next time you come up into that long, low hover, little pulse up of the arms, pulse them up, up. Woo, my triceps are starting to talk to me. We'll go to the bend and stretch up next. In four, three, two, hold those arms lifted, bend, stretch, bend, stretch for eight. Four, hold in three, two, hold those arms straight, lift them one inch higher, and then can you reach long through the legs, fire through the glutes, and lift your legs to a hover as well. So we're in this extended position. Hold and breathe. We're gonna lower everything down. You'll release the towel and just let it rest on the back of your thighs in three, two, lower down one cheek to the mat, bend your knees, release the towel, and just windshield wiper your knees a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna repeat that one more time and then you are done with class and we cool it down. You got this. So let's come through center, grab the ends of your towel again. Legs are parallel either together or about hips distance apart. Again, it's more comfortable for my lower back if I have my legs apart, so that's what I'm going to do. Length through the back of the neck, open through the chest. So again, think gently slide those shoulder blades down your spine and then pulling out on the towel, we're just gonna lift and lower those arms. Stay connected to your core so we're neutral through the pelvis. As always, second time through is a little quicker. We're gonna hold at the top, bend, stretch. Next time those arms lift up, hold. Little bend, punch, bend, punch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. We'll hold the arms straight, spinal extension in four, three, two, hold the arms straight and lifted. Now we come up into that extension and we lower down nose taps to the mat. Stay open through your chest reach those arms long behind you. Don't crane your neck. So as you come into the extension, yes, your gaze shifts forward a little bit, but not like up towards the ceiling by any means. Next time you come into your spinal extension, hold lifted, pulse the arms up, up. You got it. We'll do a little bend and stretch to finish. Now, if you want a challenge, let's bring our legs to a hover. Oh, my couch is in the way, so my legs are at a very low hover. Bend stretch, let's go. Bend stretch for eight, seven, six, five. We hold in four, three, two, one. Hold, lift the arms up higher, lift the legs up higher. You're done with class in four. Other cheek to the mat in three. Release the towel in two and one. Other cheek to the mat. You can ditch the towel, bend the knees, windshield wiper side to side. Awesome work. Do a quick cool down here. Bringing your hands under your shoulders, knees stay down. Let's just press back into a shell stretch. A shell stretch is like a child's pose with a very rounded back. So we get some flexion. And then from here, let's just shift forward into a tabletop position for a thread the needle stretch. You're gonna take your left arm, weave it under the right cheek to the mat and then walk your right arm forward. And let's just breathe into that mid back area.
walking your right hand in, press back up, and we take it over to the other side. Right weaves under left, walk your left forward. Walking your left hand in, press up through center. I want you to take your knees wide, feet together. Send your bum back to your heels, flip the palms up to the ceiling, child's pose. And let's just stay here for a couple deep breaths to finish class for a moment of stillness. When you're ready, you can walk your hands in, rolling the spine up. Hope you enjoyed that class. Awesome job today, and I'll see you next time.